Welcome to Stave Draws. This is the Manual of Procreate, Part 11, Colors, Section 1, Selecting Colors. Press the color swatch in the top right of the toolbar to access the Procreate color popover. From here you can play with color or use a favorite color that you've saved as a swatch. Color Ring. Tap on the color icon in the top right to open the color popover. By default you will see the color ring. The previously selected color will be displayed on the left split of the preview to compare with the new color. You can return to the previous color by tapping in this area. Once you're happy with the color, tap off the pane to close it or see the next section on how to save your color as a favorite. Understanding the color wheel. In the middle there is the saturation disk. The outer ring is the selected hue and it's called the hue ring. You can select the color in the saturation disk. There you can find all the values of a color. Even more control. When you found the perfect hue, use the zoomable saturation disk to get even more colors to choose from. Zoomable saturation disk. Pinch the saturation disk to expand it out to full size. Once expanded, the saturation disk will work just the same as the smaller size, but you'll have much more control over the fine adjustments. Procreate will remember if you prefer to work in this mode, which can be great for complex shading using similar values. Classic color picker. To enable this color picker, head to Actions, Prefs, Classic Color Picker. Tap on the color icon in the top right to open the color pane. Choose your color using the HSB sliders. The previously selected color will be displayed on the left split of the preview to compare with the new color. Once you're happy with the color, tap off the pane to close it. Sampling from the canvas. Rapidly select a new color from anywhere on your canvas. Eyedropper. Tap and hold anywhere on the canvas to invoke the eyedropper. If you find the gesture too quick, head to Actions pop over Prefs tab to change the delay. Your new color is displayed on the top half of the loop, and the current color on the bottom half. As soon as you let go, your new color is selected. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and that way you won't miss a single video. If you want to know more about Procreate, just visit my playlist and the playlist has all the topics about Procreate.